Okay, so I want you to know, I'm gonna preface this with this. I literally just woke up and I saw the trailer. And I want you to listen to me and listen to me well. I was wrong about Pokemon Legends Arceus. But guess what? I was actually right still. Let me explain. So they just dropped two new trailers today for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but also Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, in this Legends Arceus trailer, they showed a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, and I mean a lot. We have a new Pokemon, we have three new characters, and they also showed some more gameplay of the overworld that is inside the game. Now, this game looks better every single time that I see it. I will not lie to you. The game looks better every single time that I see it. I just pray that it's not empty. That's all. Like, I, I realized that I was never wrong about these games, but my critiques were very, very valid because as the game comes up and as it shows up more, a lot of my critiques and a lot of my worries were actually being very, very, like, you know, very prevalent. These this trailer is no different. I just pray that the out the overworld is not empty. I saw that in the trailer, you know, you get to uh, headbutt, well, in Lopani's case, kick trees and Pokemon will fall out of the trees. We also saw a herd of like Electivire and Electabuzz inside. We also saw, like I said, three new characters, amazing, amazing characters. Their names are Iskin, Lian, and May. Obviously, these are descendants or these are ancestors of characters that we've seen in the original Platinum games or in the original Diamond and Pearl games. And honestly, bro, it makes sense they're gonna be like your, what's the word, your rivals. They are rivals in this sense, but they're really people that are on your side as well when it comes to, I guess, the, the harsh environment that is the Pokemon world or the Sinnoh region before Pokemon and humans lived in tranquility and whatnot, right? It's so cool seeing all of these guys and seeing all these people and it's so awesome seeing like more of the world be fleshed out. Like that's right. Like that's my thing, right? My thing is the overall does look empty. I just pray that they, it doesn't look empty when a game comes out. But for the most part, everything that they showed us in those trailers or in this trailer particularly was really, really cool. Like, I, I like what they saw. I saw how like the PC system looked, or I guess in this like the Pokemon collecting thing looked. I love how uh, the, the character customization is a lot more is is a lot more varied for sure and very traditional i love it a lot i really really do something about it just makes it work for me and then we also have like you know little pictures and whatnot which is cool as hell to me we see some more of the pokemon i guess i don't know what's the word we see some more of the riding pokemon feature where it's like oh here we are in the water here we are on land here we are flying and it, i guess I, I i don't know if this is i don't know how true this is but i'm not gonna lie to you that camera that camera, that camera, <laughs> something about the camera just makes a lot of sense to me. I love that we can like move it around. I love that we can do whatever we want with it. It just looks really, really good for the most part. I genuinely, genuinely am really, really excited for this because something about it, just, I don't know, it, this, I, I, this game, I, I listen, bro, I'm not gonna hold you. My concerns with this game, honestly, are the performance issues and the frame rate. The game looks fun. There's no doubt about the game not looking fun, but I just hope that it's not a laggy mess, which it probably will be. I hope that it's not a uh, an empty world, which it might be because of just how certain Pokemon are gonna be like, you know, in the game or whatnot. I know that Pokemon in the water are probably gonna be the ones that are gonna like spike, like, you know, spike up and jump out of the water. And that's the only time you're gonna be able to see them for the most part. And the water is probably not gonna load. It makes a lot of sense. But it's just, I just hope that the game does not, <sighs> Listen, I feel like my concerns are very, very valid about this game. Was I wrong about the game not looking fun? Yes, by all means, sure, I was wrong. For those who don't know, I'm not a humongous fan of these games, of the, of the new Sinnoh games, but literally, dude, I don't know what it is about these games. The games look fun. I just hope that the games are optimized better. But you know, let, let, let's get let's get into the new guy, the new guy on the block. His name is Cleaver. He is actually an evolution of cypher cyther cyther and he's bug rock and i'm not going to lie to you i don't know this is funny because 
for those who don't know, uh, there was a uh, a leak, a leak dead ass before the before the official announcement of Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. There was a leak that showed literally everything that we saw already. There's only one Mon that we're missing now, and it's the Mon that was basically climbing up the. Uh, climbing up the mountain but we already saw weird deer we already saw bravery already they were silhouettes but they we knew that their features were going to be inside the game and then there was one where you were battling cleaver and cleaver was like this gold uh there's this gold thing i don't know but he, obviously you see him now he's in his form his name is cleaver lord of the woods and he you know he just looked really really cool but there wasn't like a full distinct outline to him there wasn't anything like crazy about him but now that we get to see what he looks like without the gold aura around him i'm not gonna lie to you this mon is ugly as hell this mon is ugly but from like the little trailer like the trailer so like you i guess the boss battle that you have to go through he is huge he is a he is huge like the you you see like your character rolling around and fighting him and whatnot he looks like he does not belong here at all and he looks like he's like a truck they want me to catch him i'm like you are you serious is he gonna be is he gonna be like a reoccurring thing is he just gonna be like an event like what what is he gonna be who knows but for the most part i feel like he's probably gonna be a mon that you get like really really late game and really cool how do i feel about bug rock i mean there's, there's nothing else to, to I, I don't like bug types anyway i don't care for bug type pokemon anyway i do not care but for the most part literally i think it's safe to say that i am literally excited I, honestly i i kind of i kind of am i also love the designs for the new trainers for for leon iskin and uh mai and azu i actually thoroughly enjoy their designs like i said you know who these guys are descendants of for, I, I, you know it's really weird too because uh the little kid is wearing like clay's hat i don't know if anybody realized that that looks that looks like uh clay's hat from uh from 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 Sinnoh? I don't know. But they also, I don't know if anybody realized they also have uh these bracelets on their on their uh what's the word? on their wrist, which I, I'm gonna assume is like the HM or their uh their, their I guess a, a way it's like a Pokey Rider, a page or whatever. We were able to like catch Pokemon and like you know call upon them to to fly and, and run around and stuff like that. They all have these same little like designs on them. It's so cool, bruh. I'm not gonna hold you. I I don't know what it is about these games, bro. One of these days, I'm gonna free myself of the clutches that is Game Freak, that is the Pokemon Company. And one of these days, you will support other ventures. But man, man, <laughs> not today. <laughs> Anywho, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I will talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.